All right, we are now moving on to call or fold, which is our- I'm excited sell. about this. So last week we called this buy or sell, and uh, now we decided let's get a little more poker with it, and we're gonna say call or fold. So we got three topics here where me and Doug are gonna decide if we're calling or if we're gonna fold. So we're gonna start off with Dan Smith Charity. So King Dan, Dan Smith, last year uh, raised money for charity where he was going to match the money. This year, he's back again. He's actually going to be on my podcast sometime over the next week or two to talk more about this. But Doug, he's trying to raise, he said he's going to match up to $175,000 in charity. Now, first of all, how much money is this guy making to give, be giving away $175,000 at Daily Fantasy Sports and at poker? And second of all, what are your, what are your thoughts on this situation and... I guess the whole charity movement in general amongst the poker community with everything that's happening with reg. So for starters, this is a very large amount of money. 175,000 is is really truly quite impressive amount. But on the other hand, it's matched. So if you have to put up 175,000. Now, I am not really one to donate to charity. Uh, just not really not my style. I got work work to do in the world one day maybe when, you know, down the line, but Really, are, is he going to raise 175? I, Doug, I, I'm folding my hand here. I, I got to tell you what, Doug. Let's say let's start at two. We go up to ace. Doug, I'm a ten of diamonds right now. <laughs> I am a ten of diamonds. I don't think I don't think he's going to be able to do it. When it comes to raising 175 thousand dollars, I am the ten of diamonds. I think Hill's going to get to about. There's no, no, come on, stop it. There's not raising, he's not raising no $175,000. That seems crazy. All right, so we're both folding here, but how much do you think he will raise? I got to tell you, Doug, $135,000. That's a lot. I don't know. I feel like some company's going to come up. I feel like something's going to step up. I'd actually be very curious to see how much has already been donated because this just seems crazy. Like, how do you even come up with the number, $175,000? It seems like so much money. But I want to talk about with the charity thing. Why don't, why don't, why don't you, what, what's up? Why don't you like to donate to charity? What, what's kind of your take on that? Because it seems like a lot of the people in poker that are, I don't quite know how to, what group to put them in, but it seems like a lot of people are, are really big in the charity movement these days. They want to give back. They view this as their way to make a contribution that's positive to society. But, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm in the middle. I could go either way with things. But, but you seem to be one of the first people that I've, uh, that I've talked to that actually admits they like, they, they don't really donate to charity. It seems like everyone wants to be saying they're donating to charity because it makes them look some type of, you know, some type of positive way. Sure. And not to really, not to say that it's not positive to donate to charity, it obviously is. There are several problems I have in general with it. Uh, the, the first is that, you know, a lot of the charities are misrun, they're mismanaged, the money isn't spent efficiently, uh, which obviously is, is bad. But th the second thing, I guess, really to me is I would rather spend money, you know, I guess helping people that either I know, like dpercommunity.org, really help out the community. Um, but I would rather make more money and then one day be able to make lar a larger total impact on society. And additionally, I I'm just like, I'm just trying to, I, I just, I'm not interested in it, man. Like, I guess like, I don't need to like, feel like I'm donating to help out certain charities to feel good about myself. Like I'm happy with what I've done. I'm trying to make a difference in the world in my own way, just not by giving money to groups of people to decide what to do with it. I like it, man. I like it. All right, let's move on. All right, moving on to YouTube poker. Ba bang. So, as of late, there has been quite a rise in YouTube poker, a lot of new channels popping up. Seems to be growing at a pretty fast rate. We, of course, have the vlogs thing, the vlogs going now that are booming. We've got I'm in the mix. We've got Grind Nation members in the mix. we got Joey in the mix. It's Jimmy! Of course, Tonka as well, starting a channel four or five, four months ago, three months ago, whatever. So we have a lot more people actually trying to create content on YouTube. Whereas if you look at like, you know, let's say a year ago, it was Poker Staples. That was it. And, and Al Torelli. That was basically it. Are you, are, Doug, what are you talking about right now? <laughs> as well as you, obviously. Come on. As well as you. Right? I mean, seriously, though, think about, think about the landscape a year ago and, and what it is now today. Okay. I agree, Doug. Listen, I think when it comes to the future of poker on YouTube, I'm an ace of spades, Doug. I'm oh, calling. <laughs> I'm all in on this situation. I think 
the poker on YouTube is looking bright. I think that there are a lot of new channels up there. And as you mentioned, a year ago, you know, I feel like a year ago, it was kind of, you know, I was doing my podcast, which I put on YouTube. I think you mentioned, put you mentioned a poker staples. Obviously, you got Alec Torelli walking around an untracked Asian country filming his stuff over there, putting out the content. And then besides that, it's just a lot of high stakes poker reruns and these and these poker hands sort of things on there by themselves. And I think it, it's it's great for poker. I really do. I feel like there's so many people that are on YouTube. And now it's just people, I just, I, I love it, honestly. I'm all in on the idea. I think the more people on YouTube, the better. I think the less poker video blogs, the better as well, too. But, you know, that's just me. And I, I don't know. Doug, you calling or you folding? What are you thinking? Oh, I, I'm definitely calling. And this is one of the reasons why, if you look at what I've been doing over the last three, four, five months, I, dun, still, dun, I, still dun, do, dun, dun, dun. I still do stream on Twitch, but... I've been putting way more work in on YouTube. I've been doing daily videos, et cetera. The thing about YouTube that I like, and don't get me wrong, Twitch has a ton of people. It's a very large platform. But YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world. YouTube is huge. It's massive. So as, the, as different people in poker manage to bring in new people, bring in these new faces, casual viewers, in a variety of ways, whether that is a vlog or it's, you know, a hand analysis, or it's watching a spin and go, or it's seeing a pod, or whatever, all of those things are good for poker because it, it makes people aware of poker, it gets them involved. It, it's actually one of the few areas for poker that I would say is, is, is getting better. YouTube is bringing in new people. Right. No, I agree, Doug. I, I think, honestly, I can't wait to have, I forgot to mention Ace of Spades, prettiest card in the deck, as some people out there in poker world like to say. But yeah, Doug, I, I'm calling, I'm all in. All right, Isildur won. Obviously mentioned last week he's back playing high stakes. Doug, do you think it's possible in 2016 for Isildur one to pull off another one million dollar upswing in online poker? I am folding. Now I know he just banged off like a four or five or six hundred K win, but he's lost it back already. And the thing is, there's less and less opportunities to do this. There's not as many soft players, there's not as many games, there's not as high of stakes. Now, I wouldn't say I think he's a huge dog to do it. You know, th this guy always seems to come out of the woodwork at some point and win a million dollars. But he hasn't done it in a while, and the ecosystem's getting worse. There's no more full tilt poker. You know, if full tilt was still a thing, absolutely. Because those, those were some serious games. There mm -hmm. were some serious, serious games. And I think in that environment, sure. You know, if you're going to play 1K, 2K, 2K, 4K, you're going to play the 400, 800. You got a shot. You always have a shot. But now, the biggest game is what? 1K, 2K mix, or A game, and, and even that runs somewhat rarely. I don't know. Just don't think the games are there. Doug, I'm tell you right now. What do you, uh, hold on. What do you think I'm going to say right now? What do you think I'm going to say about this one? Okay. What do you think I got? I, 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 think you got, I think you got the Ace of Spades. Baby, we got the Jokers. I'm all in, Doug. I'm all in. We got two Jokers. One million dollar upswing is coming this year. This maybe 2016. I'm, I'm just, listen, man. You can't say he's gonna win four, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars. He just went on that upswing and he can't get to a million. You know what? I, I don't know how possible it is in 2016. I think it's possible for some of the likes of, of a, of a Ben Tallarine or of a, of a Jungle Man or of a, I forgot, if I, I, <laughs> or of a Sauce yeah. One Two Three. But I think it's happened. I got to stay positive, Doug. I think the poker world right now, too negative of a world. I'm staying positive. I think he's going to be able to make one million United States dollars before June of 2017, and I'm willing to bet on it. I don't know what I'm willing to bet on it, but I'm right. willing to bet on it, Doug. You got some action. All right. Next, if if he does it, so he's going to go on a one million dollar upswing by World Series of Poker next year. How much action you want? The loser has to do something at the upswing poker party next year. I'm a host. I was the host. I can't do something at the party. No, we gotta. We have to do something at the party. Some type well, of. Some type of. Let's work this out after. Let's work this out after. Okay. But, but All right. Wait, you I'm can't ready. deny. You cannot deny that it's different now. It's very different. Of course it's different. It's, it's kind of how things go. And now they pull out more countries. You got all this stuff. Of course, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be tough. But I think Isildur 1 can do it. Honest, I, if anyone can, I think it's Isildur. So, so we'll, we'll stay tuned for that. We'll see what happens with that.